Hello and welcome. This is Desktop Dungeons. This is a game that came out in 2013 that is quite addicting, actually. I remember th th this game a few days ago, or about a week ago now, actually. And I was like, oh, that was a really interesting game, wasn't it? It's not a game on Steam. And I bought it, and I've been playing it a lot this past week. Probably a bit too much, but yeah, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> so, in Desktop Dungeons... You build a kingdom with the loot that you get from killing monsters and such. You upgrade your buildings, hire new races to just make future dungeon runs more possible. And you have challenges that you can do which unlock even more items to make even harder dungeon runs possible. And yeah, it's a just fun, addicting game. So here we have the map screen. And this just shows you every single dungeon you can go to. So we have the Northern Desert, which is a normal difficulty. Hobbler's Hold, which is easy, but that's the only easy dip mission in the game. It's, it's kind of sad. Sad little Hobbler's Hold all by its lonesome is easy. <laughs> oh well. Then you have places like all the way out here that are hard. I don't think I've unlocked any very hard missions yet. No, I don't believe so. So let's go into... Hmm... Let's go into this mission. The Double Doom. So once more with feeling, you prevail against one boss, but how will your veterans deal with two? So as you can see, like when I click on this flag here, you can click on the actual area itself and that shows you what classes you've beaten in an area with, what badges you've unlocked. And yeah, so if you want to be a completionist, like you can very easily like just count all your classes and go into dungeon runs with them. But I mostly look towards the quests, because the quests unlock you money, items, new dungeons. As opposed to just completing dungeons over and over again, which will give you maybe something new that you can keep. But most of the time it's just going to be your old stuff again, and you're mostly just doing it for money. So you always want to just constantly keep branching out. So I think for this I will play as a paladin. So being a paladin, you get the help me glyph, which, uh, and your help me glyph gives one extra health per level. So that basically just means that you have a spell that can exchange mana for health. So it's just a healing spell, basically. You cannot switch religions. God boons cost 20% less, and gods will not punish you for piety dropping to zero. And you have 25% physical resistance. So the paladin is a very fun class, I'd say. Especially considering that the two classes before him kind of suck. Um, well, Priest is alright, but Monk is... Ugh, monk. Alright, let's be a human paladin. So, once you've chosen your class and race, that's when you get to this screen here, where you can go across your kingdom and pick up one item from every building. Except for the witch. The witch is special, because the witch is a cute cat. <laughs> and you can get a few potions from the witch. So, being the fact that I'm a, uh, a martial class, I'm just going to pick up as many martial-related stuff as possible. So, two extra attack boosters will spawn in the dungeon. I am bringing the Hero's Helm, and you can only bring one item per building, by the way. Uh, so, the Hero's Helm gives one mana, which will allow me to cast my Help Me spell, perhaps one more time. Plus five max health, and plus two base damage, so it's a very nice item. The Perseverance Badge gives a 10% bonus damage. I think I'll bring a Compression Seal, which allows me to make a large item into a small item. Which allows me to just carry more stuff. I don't think I'm going to force a god to spawn in the area. Yeah, I'm not going to force a god to spawn. That's not a... Uh... I, the, the Forcing a boss to spawn... Or a boss? No, a god to spawn is... A double-edged sword, because sure, you could force that god to spawn, but it also gives some sort of penalty. Like, one of my favorite gods, Tarog here, makes so that all enemies are cowardly, which means whenever you hit them, they run away from you. It's only a tile, though. But that does mean that an enemy that you might have killed might run away into the darkness, and then they heal more than you can actually kill them. So, yeah, cowardly enemies are a pain. Uh, I think I'll also grab the Smuggler's Den here, 
This forces a little area to spawn near the entrance of the dungeon that has three glyphs. Or not three glyphs, three boosters, which are these three things here, an attack booster, mana booster, and health booster. And it spawns one of each, I believe. And two monsters. So I think I'll grab that. So here we are. So the gameplay in desktop dungeons is very simple. You have your hero here. And you have your entire map. So we can see three things here. So we have a ladder here, an attack glyph, or an attack booster, and a, a glyph. I forget which one that is. Oh, it's one of fight. I'll actually take that. So one of fight does, uh, it summons an enemy and giving it the slow debuff that, and the enemy is your level or below. So, and yeah, you also get one bonus XP if you kill a slowed enemy. That's not bad. So this is the Smuggler's Hold that I bought. And yeah, there's three glyphs. And here we can see a Gorgon. So here at the bottom right corner, we can see what the Gorgon has. So the Gorgon does three damage, has five health. It always has first strike, unless if you slow it in some way. And it petrifies you when you have less than half your health. So Gorgons are a pain. But here we have a goat, a simple goat. Three damage, five health, 25% magic resistance. Goats are much less of a pain in the ass the Gorgons are, but you might think, oh, I should... Fuck. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. So now we have a new enemy down here. It's a goo blob. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I accidentally just left the dungeon there. Oh, well. So the goo blob is also a pain in the ass enemy because it has 50% physical resistance, 3 damage... And 6 health. But yeah, you might be thinking, oh, I should kill these enemies because they're the same level as me. But, you get more XP for killing enemies higher level than you. And I have the help me glyph, which I can exchange mana for health. So I'm going to go around for to find a level 2, maybe even a level 3 enemy. Ah, oh, here we are. We have a god. We have the Earth Mother here. Earth is a good god. She allows you to boost your defensiveness, uh, decrease enemy strength, and actually, hmm, Earth Mother actually has a quite good ability here because I never thought about this, but she can slow every single enemy on the map. And if an enemy is slowed, if you kill them while they're slowed, then you get one extra XP. Hmm. That is very interesting. Alright, so I just picked up a uh, get in there. That is a another glyph, or a spell if you want to. Which gives you first strike. But if you and an enemy both have first strike, the enemy's first strike overtakes yours, and there's nothing you really do about it. So, well. Alright, so here we have a dragon spawn. So it has magical attack. Which magical attack, I believe, pierces any damage reduction you have. And you need magical defense to protect against it instead of physical defense. So, I could, probably, I could take this dragon easily. So, I hit him twice, and you can see, the next hit would kill me, because enemies have, uh, well, not just enemies. Whoever is the higher level in a battle effectively has first strike, unless if one of the two combatants has first strike, then they will always hit first. So, let's see... Pendant of Health? That's not a bad item. It's not one of my favorite items, because it's not very flashy. It's just plus 10 health. It's kind of boring. In fact, I think that's one of the starting items. Hmm. So yeah, we can see here, like, I saw this enemy through the wall. Actually, this enemy right here is a boss. You could tell because there's, like, blood and bones surrounding it. So who's this boss? You have this suicidal gull to cross my path, Challenger. Look well upon me, for this is the last time your eyes will ever feast. That will ever see the world through anything but a blinding red ooze. I'll plunge my sword into every inch of your feeble flesh until you scream blood and cough up bone shards. You'll be battered so ferociously that you'll beg the god of death himself to burn and consume your soul before I have the pleasure of wrenching it from the wet crimson bed of your corpse. Face me, laughable hero. If the universe has any mercy, it shall strike you down at this very moment and spare me the raw delight of making you history's most dire warning to adventurers everywhere. Regards, Lord Gob, the Goblin Lord. So this is actually one of the more pain-in-the-ass bosses. 
because Gulb does a lot of damage and has First Strike, uh, which is a really pain in the ass combo. Here we have another Gorgon. Yeah, level like level eight enemies are still too strong. Mm, I might be able to beat this level three zombie. Uh, maybe not actually. Cause yeah, he two shots me. Uh, my spell, I can use my spell twice to heal 10 HP. Nah, that's not enough. I need to find something else to kill. Like this warlock here. I can kill this warlock. Uh, yep, get in there. Boom. So now I've leveled up. I get extra health, extra damage, and now higher level enemies, or less of the higher level enemies have first strike against me. So yeah, that's nice. I can probably kill the zombie now. Oh yeah, easily. Hit him twice. You just get in there, and he's dead. Awesome. So here we can actually see another altar through the wall here. I think, judging by the color of the particles here, it's Dracul, who's like a vampire god. Um, I don't think Dracul will be very good for me. It's good, but not... Well, actually, maybe he would be good. I don't know. Actually, no, he wouldn't be good because I'm probably going to be using Help Me a lot. And he doesn't like it when you use holy spells, so... Speaking of which, we have another holy spell here. Sid S S Step. <laughs> which makes so that you get a layer of death protection, which just means that if you were to die on a hit, you wouldn't die. But once you would have died and you used up your death protection, then you are... Then you lose your death protection. And you have to, like, get your death protection back somehow. Ideally, at least. You don't have to get it back, but it's just preferable if you get it back. And yeah, because this is a spell, it means that I just have infinite death protection so long as I have 10 mana. And I'm above 50% health. Unless if you're a warlord, because warlords can cast Sid, Sid Step whenever the hell they want, and it's really fucking nice, actually. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Now oh, we got a dragon spawn here. Uh, I can't really fight that. I could try, but no, I'm pretty sure I die. Oh, where are all the level 3 enemies, man? There we go. There's a snack here. So, here we see another effect. Poisonous. Which means that when the snake hits you, you get poison. Which, now I think about it, shouldn't this be venomous? Probably. Um, yeah, when the snake hits you, you gain poison. And when you're poisoned, you don't naturally regenerate health. But, whenever you level up, you lose poison. So, it's not a big deal that he poisoned me. Ah, here we go. We have a way- what? So, this makes so that you swap places with an enemy. And it also applies the slow debuff to them. This is- eh, it's not bad. I mostly like it in the more tight dungeons, because you could force an enemy to move out of a, a corridor. Uh, oh, here we have Torog, one of my favorite gods. I Maybe I will go with Torog, actually. Torog gives a lot of just combat bonuses, but he doesn't like magic in any shape or form. Yeah, maybe I'll pass. I think I'll probably go with the Earth Mother, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, the sooner I choose the Earth Mother, the better, because she can really only get favor from uh, one ability that she has and using a specific spell on enemies. So yeah, let's worship her now. So, when you worship... Uh, and I'm not sure if all gods do this. In fact, I know for a fact they don't, because Torog doesn't. But yeah, when you worship some gods, they give you a spell. Now, this spell can't be uh, turned into your race-specific bonus, but it is just a free spell, which is nice. And this spell specifically is actually really nice, because you can turn low-level enemies into more XP by killing higher level enemies. So basically, this go up here, I turn it into a wall, and then I go kill like this Gorgon over here, that Gorgon would give me 50% more XP, which would probably be more than what the goat would have given me. So let's see here. Ooh, we got a level four dragon spawn here. I could probably kill that actually. In fact, I definitely could kill that. And actually, I'm not going to kill him with, uh, get in there. I'm going to instead way what him. That way I get one more XP from him. It's not much, but every little bit of XP helps. 
There's a tower shield here. That would be nice to have to help take off some of the damage that Lord Gob would do. That would take, what, about like 9 damage away from him? That's not bad. Alright, so here we have a Wraith. Wraiths give the Mana Burn effect if they hit you. But because I'm higher level than him, I have First Strike on him, so it doesn't really matter too much. But yeah, Mana Burn makes it so that you lose all your mana, and you don't regenerate mana until you level up or drink a Health Potion. Or not Health Potion, a Mana Potion. Uh, the Poisonous effect actually can remove the Poison Potion or effect, so yeah. So, I can maybe try to kill his Blob. Maybe the Gorgon? I do have death protection, so... Hmm. I'm thinking that I should... Actually, I think I'm going to come down here. I'm going to turn this goat into a wall. It resisted it. Turn to a wall. Thank you. Bastard. And then I think... So the Gorgon automatically has first strike, so me getting first strike won't do anything. But I think uh, if I just get some mana back, probably about up to uh, 10, then I could probably kill the Gorgon. So help me. There we go. And that's a barely win. But that's still a win. So, and because I leveled up, actually, I just immediately cra uh, cast Sidestep. And yep, I have my death protection again. So what's the shop got? A troll heart. Oh, actually, I actually haven't really been talking about shops. Actually, I've just been kind of like looking at them and ignoring them. Actually, no, I talked about the pen of health, but that was about it. Actually, yeah, no, I have I haven't been ignoring them. Never mind, I'm stupid. Don't mind me. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, the troll heart, a very fun item, but I don't have space for it, sadly. Alright, so yeah, this was an altar of Dracul, but I don't think he'd really be the god for me to follow. Also, I'm already following the Earth Mother, so let's actually look at how the gods work then. So all the gods, uh, minus one of them, have five abilities, and usually... They go, the top left is a piety increasing ability. The bottom right is like their ultimate ability. And the others are just, uh, just random little bonuses that the gods give. So, I think I'm actually going to take Entanglement here. Because that slows all enemies. And as you know, slowing an enemy and killing it in one hit will give you one extra XP. Which is very nice. And yeah, I can also turn all the blood pools into plants, which will give me a ton of piety. But... But yeah, the problem with turning them into plants is that then those plants will be in your way. And because you're worshipping the Earth Mother, she doesn't like it when you murder plants. But... If you petrify the plant, then you can get the bonus XP. And also get piety which is very nice i would say the earth mother is probably one of the easiest gods to get along with i think i'm gonna entangle all the enemies and that spawned a bunch of plants so here we have a murk shade which gives you mana burn a regular plant which is just a wall and yeah there's another murk shade there and yeah i think i'll grab some vine form i guess yeah let's do that and yeah, that's just spawning more and more plants the more times I click it. Uh, okay, let's pop in here. Let's turn this blob into a wall. There we go. Come back up here, get one more vine form, and then I'm going to cl cast Clearance, which removes ten of the plants that I just spawned. Because there are too goddamn many plants. There we go. Much better. So, let's see here. As a level four, I could probably kill this dragon down here. It's just a shame that I would be losing out on the bonus XP that he would give. Or would I? I don't think I would, actually. Although... Hmm. <laughs> I'd have to use my death protection. That's fine. And then I do... Wait, what? Ah, balls. Shit. Oh, you're fucking joking. Right, yep, that's the thing. Uh, because... I switched places with him, it discovered more tiles, and then he healed. I did not think about that. Well, crap. Alright, let's drink a potion. 
I'm safe now. And, uh, of course. Alright, I'm just gonna have to kill the bastard then. Shame that I missed out on the one extra XP, but... Eh. Although I also use a potion, which really sucks. Oh well. Nothing can really be done about that. Alright, let's see. So, there's level 6 goat down here. I might make that my next victim. Or maybe this Gorgon. Nah, that Gorgon's too strong. Alright, let's petrify you. And then go murder the goat. Yeah. Uh, let's use get in there because I am currently not really in a position to be taking hits right now. Ooh, a spoon! Spoon. <laughs> yeah, spoon is an extremely cheap item. It's only one gold and it gives you one base damage. Which honestly, it's a really fucking good deal. Because there's another item that you can buy from stores, which is a sword, which gives plus four damage. And that's like 16 gold or something. So the spoon's a really good deal, and it's also a small item, so spoon is great. Sp spoon is love. Spoon is life. So, alright, I need to... I think I'm going to... Well, let's cast sidestep for one. But I think... Actually, I should keep way what? Because that is... That will allow me to turn off Lord Gob's... Uh, like, as you can see, actually, Lord Gob doesn't have first strike right now. Because he's slowed. And yeah, it's the same thing with the Gorgon. They don't have first strike because they're slowed. In fact, I think they also don't have death gaze, but the game just is showing it wrong. Because I'm pretty sure when a Gorgon is slow, they don't have death gaze, but I'm not sure about that. All right, let's see here. Uh, let's, I'm a wall this Gorgon here. Uh, I think I could probably kill his Wraith. Uh, it's going to be close, though. That's the thing. Yeah, so I hit the Wraith twice. Drink a potion, and then I can get in there. Yeah. So one, two. Potion. Get in there. And he's dead. Awesome. So, so, so. I could probably go kill that Gorgon now. Yeah, especially if I have sidestep active. So, let's do that. I want to grab enough mana to use way what? Uh, it's like a singular tile that I can discover. Yes, right here. Okay. Oh, wait, but I also need to cast I'm a Wall on something. Let's cast I'm a Wall on this Wraith here. Which means I need a little bit more, but actually, let's go grab some extra damage reduction from the Earth Mother. Alright, excellent. I still get to the Gorgon. Good. Let's discover enough tiles to use... Wait, what? Excellent. Actually, might be a little bit tricky because of where the Gorgon is. Actually, it should be fine. Yeah. Alright, let's use... Wait, what? That makes them lose their first strike and their death gaze, which means I can kill them with impunity. Excellent. Hmm. Right, I'm gonna need more mana. So, let's get mana. I already... Yeah, I've already stoned both these guys here. Alright, let's turn this goat to stone. There we go. I actually probably shouldn't have done that yet, because I don't know what my next victim's going to be. I might have to kill, like, one of these low-level creatures just to find another high-level creature. Yeah, I might have to kill... I think the highest-level enemy I could see right now and kill is probably this golem. Yeah, actually, how, how would I fare against the boss right now, actually? Not great. Yeah, not great at all. Ideally, I'd remove his physical resist somehow, but... Don't think I can do that with Earth Mother. Yeah, I can, I can lower his overall... Or I can increase my overall damage against him, but... That's honestly not very good, I feel. Um, yeah, I can always just keep casting Entanglement, which is nice. So actually, I guess I don't need... Wait, what then for the boss? Yeah, I don't need it, actually. I think I'm going to turn this into extra damage. So, whenever you don't want an item anymore... Or if you find an item on the ground that you don't want, but you might as well do something with it. You just uh, go ahead and drag it over to this little like slot down here. And then for each race, they have a specific effect. So for humans, you get 10% bonus damage. Which is very nice. It makes humans, alongside orcs, the best martial classes. Because yeah, with orcs, they get plus 2 base damage. So honestly, I'm not sure which one I prefer. Um, they're both quite good. Alright, let's see. Yeah, there really is no way through without killing an enemy, is there? 
I guess if I were to pray to the Earth Mother to remove plants, then I could try to go that way. Come on. High level enemy. That's not high level. That's a high level enemy, though. Yes, please. Actually, that's pretty good. And I don't even have to use my death protection for it, either. Awesome. Alright. Gobbo. So, yeah, each notch on the health bar shows you how many hits that you and the enemy would take. So, it would take... Eight hits for me to kill Lord Gob. Which is not ideal. And yeah, he would kill me in three. Which is not good. Although, I do have... Wait, no, I'm not a warlord. So, if my health goes below half, I can no longer use sidestep. Ooh, yeah, that's a problem, isn't it? Okay. I'll work around it. Uh, let's try to find another high-level enemy. Uh, I would prefer something like in level 8. Level 8 or 9, ideally. Right, let's kill this goat. Just go past it. Oh, there we go. Level 8 Gorgon. Yeah, I, I can kill that. That's pretty simple. Uh, let's go ahead and turn you into a wall. And go kill this Gorgon. Excellent. There's a meat man. Ooh, how do we get down there? Oh, that's how. Okay. Extra mana. Ooh, burned a raise. This is basically just a fireball. Um, does four damage per your level, I believe. And also slows enemy regeneration and gives them the on-fire debuff. I don't need this. I mean, I guess I could use it against Lord Gob, but I think I would prefer just the extra damage it would give me by sacrificing it. Actually, I'll take it with me for now. I have an, I have an extra space. I don't need to use that space right now anyways. Alright, so let's turn you into a wall, and let's go and attack this guy. Yeah, hit him twice, use a potion, and then use get in there. Yeah, that's fine. Use a potion, get in there, he's dead. Awesome. Now level 8, sidestep. Hmm. Ooh, let me see. This reveals three tiles that you... Uh, yeah, it uncovers three random dungeon tiles, and it gives you normal regeneration effects. I'm just going to burn this, because I've almost explored the entire dungeon at this point. So, I would say it's probably not very good at this point. Level 9 Meat Man. Yeah, sure. I'll kill him. Yeah, I actually have more survivability than he does. I'm tankier than the Meat Man. What a surprise. Alright, yeah, let's turn you into a wall. Now, this is a bit unfortunate because he's actually blocking out a path, but... I'm assuming that this is going to be like the bottom left corner where it just sort of loops around on itself. So I'm hoping that's going to be what happens. I'm not going to level up, so I'm actually going to use get in there just so I don't take damage. Ooh, passage. What's down here? It says Snek. Snek is dead. Snek was hiding extra mana. Hell yeah. Okay. So I'm on level eight. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack the boss now. Because I'm almost level 9, killing most enemies at this point will level me up. I think the only exception would be a level 1 enemy or a undazed level 2, but I don't think there are, either, there are any of either of those, so. Yes, yeah, so let's burn to raise him, so I can cast that twice, and then I will attack. I'm barely alive, that's fine. I attack again. Now I'm going to go kill any enemy. I'm going to kill this blob here. So now, because I leveled up, I got my normal level up bonuses and fully healed, so now I'm ready to go back and kick the boss's ass. Let's go ahead and entangle him. Boom. <gasps> There's a second boss. Oh shit, where is the second boss? Oh no. Oh no, I got really overconfident. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, that is not good. That is really not good. Hmm. That is spicy. Now the question is, where the hell is the other boss then? I guess maybe in the top right corner. So when you beat the final boss of the dungeon, there's a big flare, and it's like, yeah, you beat the boss, here's a beam of light. That didn't happen. So there's another boss somewhere. I don't know where. And now I'm scared. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um, I guess it's gonna be up here. I can't imagine it being anywhere else, to be honest. There it is. Frank the zombie. He has a lot of health and does a decent amount of damage. Hmm. Fuck. 
Yeah, it's not. It's uh, hmm, that's not good. If only I did a little bit more damage, I can kill that goat. Hmm. I might try to set up another mid-battle heal. I think that would be the best idea for me. So, I think at this point, I'm going to just burn I'm a wall. Yeah, I'm going to burn I'm a wall for extra damage. Although, apparently, it wasn't... Oh, I got I'm a wall from the Earth Mother, so it didn't give me anything. Shit. All right, I'm going to get rid of help me, because... I feel like I would rather cast things like Sidestep... Or burn to raise and help me. Oh, but do I want to do that though? Because actually, two burn to, or not two burn to raise, two help me's would be enough to tank another hit from Frank. Oh shit! Yeah, now we get into like the tough area where it's like, what the hell do I do? Um, fuck. Hmm. I was so overconfident, and now I'm just so underconfident. Ooh, boy. Alright, is there any other good items I could buy? Troll Heart? It's a bit late for that. Soul Orb? There aren't any more enemies that give mana burn. Pendant of Mana. What would that allow me to do? That would allow me... That would give me 17 mana, which means I can cast... Three Help Me's, but I can't cast Get In There. Damn. Hmm... Although that would allow me... No, no, that wouldn't allow me to cast three burned rays. Oh, fuck. Okay. So, alright, let's go ahead and burn this goat, I guess. Yeah, burn the goat and stab the goat. And then, I need to honestly go ask the Earth Mother to fucking fuck off with the plants, because there's too goddamn many of the bastards. Oh, you know what, actually? Mmm... I should not have done that. Actually, it's fine. Yeah, it's 100% fine. So... Alright, let's see. Yeah, let's just kill a bunch of enemies. Level... Well, well, maybe not level up, but get close to leveling up. So that it's like one or two enemies would level me up. Uh, could I get like one XP away? Or even two? Yes, I could. Alright. Alright, so... I think I'm probably going to be fine. So let's fireball Frank twice. Then stab him. Oh, I don't have a sidestep on. Shit. That's fine. That's not a big deal. Alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and... Ugh. Clearance? No, not clearance. I want to plantate... Yeah, plantation. And then I want a clearance, because for every plant that gets removed, I get one mana. And then, help me, clearance, sidestep, are there any more plants to clearance? No, sadly. Okay, let's go ahead and get more vine forms then. Yeah, more vine forms, and then we'll do another clearance, which gives me a little bit more mana. And then, let's burn to raise one more time, hit Frank twice. Go level up. Hit Frank two times with Burned Arrays. Stab him twice and win. Oh, shit. Alright. So, I could sell the brain for 200 or the Goblin Bone for 190. Alright, cool. I'll take the brain. Oh, man. <laughs> that was a bit tense. Because I forgot there was two bosses. <laughs> Trophy sold. Excellent. Well, that was Desktop Dungeon. It is a very fun and addicting game. And it's available on Steam for 15 US dollars or your regional equivalent. And I will see you next time.